everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to my fashion hacks video in this video i'm spilling all of my fashion secrets sharing how to do everyday things that will elevate your style so i hope you find this video helpful if you do be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your girlfriends so all of you can learn these tips and tricks I'll be filming how to do a front tuck, how to make clothing look more flattering, and just my overall tips and tricks, basically fashion hacks, will be spilled in this video. So let's jump in. When doing a front tuck, my biggest tip is to take the center edge of your top and then tuck that into the center of your shorts. Then from there, you can pull and roll the sides of your top to your preference. Just know it won't look the exact same or perfect every single time you do it, and I think that's the beauty of a front tuck. It just looks effortless. If you have a really long tunic type top, these are a little bit harder to tuck in, but what I typically do is just gather it in the center and then tuck the whole shirt in. If you're having trouble with this, I do have another fashion hack, so stay tuned for the next one. So I find that the longer tops are a little bit trickier to tuck in. So this is my number one hack if you're having trouble with it. Take that same little clear hair tie and then you want to pull it up over your butt a little bit. And then you gather it like you're doing a ponytail and then you just tie that around. I do two loops and then all you have to do is tuck this tail in. And then from there, you just want to pull it out a little bit and that will give you the look like it's tucked in and it'll also stay there a little bit easier. This is the fashion hack I use all of the time. Definitely my most used fashion hack. And this is how to knot your tops without ruining them or stretching them out. I basically take a clear hair tie and tie a little bun in my top and you can change up the size based on how large you want it. You can move it to the side, do it in the center, but this is my favorite fashion hack. So this is something that I always keep in my purse because you just never know when you're gonna need it. I like to wear tunic tops to work, but I have to be really careful because if I'm bending over working on somebody, I can't have the girls come out. So I love using this fashion tape to kind of secure tops that are just a little too low for me. So essentially this is just double sided tape and what I do is I will stick it on one side of my shirt and depending on how high I want it to go up I may just cut this in half but for work I typically use the whole thing. So say you're wanting to wear a belt, but the end of the belt typically kind of flaps out. What I like to do is take one of those clear hair ties and you would put this on the side where the loop is. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I do just two so it's tight enough to be on there. So you see how this is just kind of hanging out? I don't really love that. So I have the little clear elastic there. Okay. So that way it keeps your belt loop down and it's not going to flap in your way. All right. So I wanted to show you guys some more uses for this fashion tape. So um, if you don't have those clear plastic hair ties or if you just prefer it this way, this is just another option. If you have your belt like flapping out like this, <laughs> what you can do is just use the double-sided tape or you can just use double-sided tape if that's what you have. Um, just don't use it on super delicate fabric, but this you can just stick it right on the inside at the end of your belt. And then that way you can just kind of press it on the end to keep it down. So. That's another use for that. And then something else I do sometimes, I don't do this all the time. I find that I don't necessarily love denim shorts that have this fold just because they're just high maintenance to deal with. Another thing that you can do, put the tape on the inside. If you have a piece that's just not staying upright, you can just do that and it will keep it up. Um, I've washed my clothes with this on, say those tunic tops. I do that all the time and it doesn't mess anything up. And it doesn't like heat into it. I don't really dry my clothes on super high heat. But I don't think you'll have an issue if you accidentally wash your clothes with it. Just FYI. So you can also use this as an emergency. Like say you have a hem that goes undone at work or something. I just always keep this fashion tape in my purse just in case. But those are a couple other uses for that tape. 
So this will not work for all of your belts, but I find with my skinnier belts, I can get away with this. So this belt does not really fit with the holes that it already has around my waist, but what I can do is I just loop it through and then I get it to where it fits, which the holes kind of stop over here. And then I go the reverse way and tie a little knot there. And then I just end up sticking it through. So it looks kind of cool and knotted and it hides the little gold clasp and that way I can still wear it around my waist even though it doesn't necessarily fit. All right, so say you wanna tuck in your shirt but it's just looking way too baggy and unflattering. My tip for that is again, the same little clear plastic hair ties. And then you'll untuck the shirt. And then you pull it how you want it to look in the front. And then you'll just go around the back and do a little tie there. And then when you go to tuck it in, it'll look a lot more figure flattering. And you just wanna make sure that you tuck in the little tail on the back. So I don't have my husband here to show you guys a close up of this part, but it's basically the same technique that you do for shirts. So all you do, get that clear hair tie. I literally use these for so many different things. And so say you have a dress that's just a little too long, you just wanna shorten it a little bit, or you want to just show off a little more leg, what you do is just go to one side. I like it better on one leg. I don't think it looks as good in the middle. Um, so I pull the fabric over to one side, basically give it a little ponytail like that, and you don't need a ton of extra fabric. You can make it work with a lot of different lengths. And you basically just make a little hair button there. You can pull it out. This fabric is really stretchy, which most summer maxi dresses and dresses are like this. So you can pretty much do it on anything. So this is the side of the scarf that has all the colors. So you want to put that on the bottom. And then I like to find wherever the tag is. Sometimes I'll cut that off. I just haven't done that with this one. And I fold it in half like this. And then what you do is you take these corners, otherwise they'll just kind of flop out very easily. So you just kind of fold those in. And then from there, all you do is roll it. So depending on how thick you want it, you can make it like really thick like this and just do it twice, which I guess I'll do to speed this video up. But basically you have this, so you can just tie a knot around your ponytail like that, or you can tie it around your bag. I'll show you guys how to tie it around your bag. So this is the bag that I'm gonna tie it on. I already have it kind of folded up like that. So I'm just gonna do a simple tie. And I just tie it in a knot. And then again, you just kind of have to play with the knot to get it to fold how you want. There's that look. So say I'm going to a wedding or I'm dressing up a little bit and I wanna wear a skirt and tuck my shirt in. Something that I do to keep it in is I actually wear Spanx underneath. So this is the pair of Spanx that I have. They are a little bit long. Sometimes I'll have to like fold them over on skirts that are a little shorter. But basically I just tuck my top into them and then I pull it out as much as I want and then they stay there instead of having to like re-tuck it throughout the night. I love wearing these when it comes to skirts to keep my tops tucked in. So if you guys don't already have one of these like fabric shavers, I highly recommend them. They make your clothes look brand new and they're super cheap on Amazon. Um, I got this one last winter and it's kind of addicting once you start doing it. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. I've worn this for two seasons and it's starting to pill just a little bit kind of in the areas that are getting rubbed more frequently. So I'll show you guys how well this fabric shaver works and it makes the coat look brand new. And you can see the after how much smoother it is and it just makes it look so much newer. Okay, and then there's a little bit through there so I'll clean that up. It looks good as new. So this is definitely something that I love to keep on hand. I have a lot of cardigans that I use this primarily with. Um, a lot of my summer clothes don't really pill as much as my winter clothes so you can kind of get this now and stack it away for later when you go to refreshen your pieces from last year. Also, every time I'm wearing a 
tank top or if I have some shirt that's just not working with a normal bra or say like it's a little bit too low and you can see your bra on the side, my solution for that is to just wear sticky boobs. That's what I call them at least. And they could be a little finicky in the summertime because if you are sweating, say you're not hot, like at a concert or something like that, you do have to worry about them unsticking which is always a problem here in the South, but I am most comfortable wearing those. I really don't like strapless bras. They just like dig into my sternum. So my go-to solution is always a sticky bra. And I know not everybody can wear them. I am a 34B and I have no problem just kind of sticking them on. And so that's what I'm wearing with this tank top now. So I have nothing in the back. So it's also a really great solution if you have like a backless or a low Top. All right, y'all, those are all of the fashion hacks that I could think of for this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your girlfriends so they know all of these awesome fashion hacks as well. If you have an awesome hack that I did not mention, I would love for you to comment down below letting me know your little tips and tricks. And if I have enough good ideas from you guys, I will definitely do a part two. So give this video a thumbs up if you would want to see that. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your patience on this video. I just wanted it to be as helpful as possible. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You